know it was my whole heart. Um, he was an amazing, motivated, determined little boy. Noah Bush had a love of sports, school, and hugs. His family says the eight-year-old was out walking with friends on May 15th and never came home. Multiple agencies conducted a search, and Noah was found dead in a borrow pit the next day. The cause of death ruled a drowning. When they told me where he was actually found, it, it, it didn't make sense to me because my son has always had a fear of water. The community has joined the family in a call for answers and justice, raising alarm on a case they say deserves national attention. It's critically important that the world knows Noah's name. Their attorneys are conducting their own investigation, accusing Wayne County Sheriff Chuck Mosley of making a rush to judgment. The idea that foul play was ruled out almost immediately is absurd. And one of the questions that they have is, why weren't those homes searched that very night of the juveniles who were last seen uh, with Noah Bush? The GBI says the sheriff's office has requested their assistance in a, quote, limited investigative capacity. However, before the GBI could proceed with a full investigation, the sheriff's office would have to request it. As to who they're talking to, who they're investigating, how my child was found, how he got, nobody's telling me anything. With the uh, resources and, and uh, skill set that they bring to the table, why is the sheriff's office not utilizing those resources uh, to the best of their ability? They liken it to the case of Ahmad Aubrey, killed while jogging in the same Brunswick Judicial District. Aubrey's family and community became the driving force that led to a prosecution. We just need him to get the justice that he deserves. There was no immediate response from the sheriff's office and no word on the status of any investigation. Attorneys say they're waiting on the results of a second autopsy to see what could have led to Noah's drowning. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.